I think People's Collection Wales is a, is a fantastic idea for many reasons. The clue itself in the title, you know, um, it's a website for the people now, at last, influenced by the people. It's, it's sort of several websites in one. All of a sudden you have a, a website that encompasses everything you'd want, um, be it tradition, storytelling, landscape. It, um, it's a one-stop shop and, you know, that's what we've needed for a long time. Dyma un o'r mynd tre mwyaf cyffroes sy'n gael ei lonsio ar ei oed. I mi'n gyfarwydd iawn a hanes y gwir mawr, ond dyma'n gyfle i ni glywed hanes y gymdeithas a nichrynswth. Mae pob teulu a rhywbeth sy'n werth i gofio, at gofio'n lluniau, storiau ac yn y blaen. A dyma'n gyfle i rannu nhw gyda thaw. We've been looking at ways of taking the information and the the artefacts that are held by the various institutions who are contributing to the People's Collection, repackaging them and making them as interesting as possible to members of the public. So we've been laser scanning museum artefacts so they can be presented in 3D online. We've been commissioning 3D reconstruction animations of some of the most interesting archaeological and historic sites across Wales. Wrth baratau cynnwys i Casliad y Warin, I, ni wedi bod yn digido mewn llefydd digon amrywiol um, er enghraifft o ni yn Undebrug by Cymru yn digido yn y Stadiwm y Millennium um, gyda'i archif nhw fyna a dyna gyfoeth gwych o eitemau i gael dy nhw fyna. Er enghraifft um, fi o'n i'n ffodus i ddigido uh, pêl a'r chwyban gaeth i ddefnyddio um, yn y gêm pan nath Cymru drech i Sela Newydd yn 1995. One of the unique ways that we've been working with the People's Collection Working Group has been to deliver a project called eTrails. eTrails project really takes the information off the computer and puts it onto your mobile phone. So if I can give you an example, you know, a, a piece of an art, a Roman artefact that may have been found 20 years ago in excavation, we're taking photographic images of that and digitising it and putting it back virtually where it was found. You can, you can actually contribute to the site there and then as well. So it could be that uh, you think it's a particularly interesting historic building, you can take a photo of that, your phone will record your position and you can upload there and then that image to the site and make it available for everyone else to use. I think the People's Collection Wales will be a huge asset um, to us in our job of promoting Wales around the world. Um, obviously there are clear links between that particular website and the Visit Wales website, but also I think in the future uh, one thing that is really exciting is the potential for actually taking that content and using it not just on our site, but trying to find ways that we can encourage the tourism businesses of Wales to take that content, to take the content that's relevant for them and use it on their own individual websites. So wherever I perform all over the world, there's always such an interest in Wales and it's steeped in so much history that this website will be such a um, platform for people to be able to explore the country and to find out about you know, our culture, our language, um, our musical heritage. It's such a great tool to show off Wales worldwide. Mae disgyblu yn ysgol erbyn hyn wedi dod yn dipyn mwy o arbenigwyr technolegol na, na gathrawon. Ac wrth gwrs mae'r plant yn gwybod yn well. Na gathrawon lle i fynd i chwilio am bethau, ond as allwn ni fel y thrawon bod yn ei cyfeirio nhw a twyfan fydd, fydd yn dangos hanes Cymru a, ar ei ora. Yn dangos bod yna ni hanes cyffroes, bod yna ni hanes y mae werth i astudio ac mae werth cymryd i ddordeb yn ddefo. I think I will look up stories about Aberaeron because um, I know the town so well. And also, um, obviously as a harpist, we'll look up stories of old Welsh harping traditions and uh, the stories of, of how harps were made here in Wales and, and how harpists took the, the instrument around the world. And this website will give you a perfect chance to share some of the stories come and see some of the photos which will be on the website and you can be part of it and you feel that you've known those great characters that's how good it can be I think the way I would use personally use the website is because we have so many Welsh people come down to Odets I'd say on average between four and five thousand a year come to Odets and a lot of people want to ask and find out as much information about the Welsh ingredients and what I like to do with it in Wales the website can share this information and you know the history of ingredients and dishes that we have in Wales